How's it going, guys? And welcome to Expert Reacts. Yeah, yeah let's sure, do that. why not? Let's go, yeah. <laughs> so we all love knives, and we all love knives for different reasons. But I think a big portion of that are the movie fight scenes that we saw as kids. So I've got my good buddy Adam on, and we're gonna be watching all of our favorite knife scenes and breaking them down. My name is Adam Boyce. So for my day job, I work for a government agency. I teach firearms, heavy weapons, tactics, play a little bit with explosives. I'm also a fully certified martial blade concepts instructor. So I teach some edge stuff. The one thing that I found interesting when we were setting this up is you don't really watch movies. I don't watch a lot of movies. So yeah. uh, a lot of my favorites are here. I don't know if any of your favorites are here. Let's jump in. I'm excited. Let's right, do here it. Here we go. Yeah. In this movie, John Wick is using a Microtech Trudon. Oh, there's his out the front. Yeah. Kind of doesn't stage it, kind of lets everybody see it. Oh. Ooh, that was kind of like a kind of like a scout carry, but yeah. it looked like maybe a little more, I don't know, down? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know kinda, what that carry would be called. Kind of a weird <laughs> angle, huh? Wouldn't be comfortable to sit, that's for sure. Goes for the wrist tie, not really dropping his body weight into it. That's something that you're going to see a lot in these movies. Yeah, is like this like standoff. Okay. Right? Like, yeah. I mean, what do you like? Both of them going at the same time and catching that wrist. I mean, yeah. how like is that something? Uh, that's, that shouldn't last very long. <laughs> okay. It should be like a very temporary. Like we're here in a right. position and to move through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. All he uses oh, is knee. Yeah. Kind of pushes it through. It looks like he hit him right in the hip. That was like the whole way, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, he, oh, he just oh, armed him. Yeah. He's got kind of like an over underhook there, but not a lot of control. He doesn't really have a lot of pressure into that arm. I'm seeing something interesting here. Common has, he has a gun. The other dude has a gun. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> why, why, why would you use a knife when you can use a gun? Yes. Yeah. I mean, right? Yeah, why? Maybe he's out. Maybe he's no. out. I don't know. Like. <laughs> yeah, that, the knife has a lot of great applications, but if you can use a gun, why would you why use would a gun? You use yeah. A knife? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Little knee there sets him up. So I think it's interesting. He's using a lot of that kind of reverse extension of the arm, which isn't super powerful. And he had it in a standard grip, which is kind of weird. So when you say standard grip, what do you so mean by standard grip? Blade going forward. So he's doing kind of like this, but it looked like right. he's trying to do a stab instead of like a slash or a cut. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, and yeah. so it wouldn't make as much sense from that angle to to try and do right it that, that way, that yeah, way, the yeah. full extension, but. Now I've taken a class with you, yeah. and, and you'd mentioned that class that actually like slashes and cuts are more effective than like stabs. Yeah, right? de depending yeah, yeah. on what you're targeting, the blade length. Yes. Right. Yeah. Is it? Okay. Cool. Yeah. 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 Yep. What do you think about John Wick using an OTF knife? I'm not a huge fan of OTFs. Um, there are some great makers out there, but I found with several of mine, as I play with them, like link gets inside of it, and then they don't function as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're yep. running the problem of it not being available when you need it. Yep. Did he just stab himself in the forearm? <laughs> it looked like he did. <laughs> so here, here at the end, so what he's telling him, he's like, he's like, that knife is perfectly placed, so if you pull it out, you'll die, but if you don't pull it out, you won't die. Interesting. Professional courtesy, I think is what he said. So it looked like it was right down the center, not really into the heart or the spleen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Oh, and then he picks up, oh man, he didn't forget his, I mean, that, that Trudon's not cheap, so. Yeah, I understand you don't want to leave that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's your first uh, taste of John Wick? Yeah. Thoughts? I've, I've heard great things about the movie. Um, yeah. I think he's worked with some pretty renowned trainers. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. it looks like the fight scenes are awesome. And for the movie, you obviously have to play it up a little bit. Of course. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. There's a lot more, like you said, arms extension and this kind of not really like a knife fight would be. Right. Not that you actually have. Yeah. 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 I'm interested if we're going to find one that like you think is like, oh, yeah, no, that's pretty accurate. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now, obviously, we're doing this on YouTube, guys. So there's also the reality of like there are a couple really good movie fight scenes that they're just not going to allow us to show. Yeah. So <laughs> we, we did our best. Our next movie is a Arnold Schwarzenegger movie yeah. called Commando. Commando, okay. And, and it's actually kind of a hard movie to find. Yeah. I haven't watched this movie since I was a kid, so I don't even remember the plot at all. Yeah. But Arnold Schwarzenegger, no shirt on, big knife. Uh, this is a pretty good one. It's party. So I'm going to surprise everybody again, and I have not seen this movie. <laughs> I've heard of it. Here, I've heard of the knife. I've heard, but I, I have not seen this. So movie. here's what you need to do. You yeah. need to let us know when you've seen the movie. <laughs> okay, I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. when we know it's special. <laughs> yeah. Is when you've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> you can see that obviously Schwarzenegger has a, a big Bowie knife in hand. Yeah. That is a Jack Crane LS1. Jack Crane was a custom knife maker out of Texas. Mm. And uh, I have a theory on this one. Yeah. So this is actually a lot like the Rambo knife. Okay. Um, you know, it's a big buoy. It's got the, not even serrations, like the saw on yeah. the back of it, which is like, why? Arnold Schwarzenegger is a very like competitive guy. Mm -hmm. And specifically him and Sylvester Stallone, right? For a while, I mean, it was like They're every the... other action hero movie was them. Yeah. Right? Yep. And so as a competitive guy, I have a theory that they, 
so, like Schwarzenegger saw Rambo. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, yeah. I must have a knife like that, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a horrible Schwarzenegger. You know what I mean? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I really think that's like why this knife exists. Yeah. And, and I think that's why it's in this movie here. But anyways, let's let's get into the actual fight. You're gonna notice the similarity here is what we saw in John Wick. All right, let's check it out. I can beat you. <laughs> I don't need notes! <laughs> he throws his gun. <laughs> Why would you throw your gun? That oh, works, right? Yeah, that yeah, works. yeah. I love this two-handed grip on the knife. <laughs> so good. It's like a samurai sword or yep. something, but... Yep. But like, you know, tiny. Yeah. <laughs> Shaking everywhere. Ooh, look at that big extension. Man, everything's just over the top, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so this feels super 80s, right? Yeah. Like, just everything big, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, there's a little bit of caution here, but they definitely jump right into it, right? Yeah. Yeah, interesting his body stance here, how far over he is, his center of gravity is just really off. And I remember when we, uh, when I took that class with you, yeah. there, there's also kind of a hand positioning in like how you would or wouldn't hold the knife, right? Yeah, there's a lot of different theories and they're a good flexor tendon cut it looks like, oh, so yeah. his hand should not be able to Oh, he's, but he's still using but it. he's still using his hand, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, full extension there with the arm. Yeah, um, there we go again with that that tense movie moment, right? Yeah. Will they? Won't they? And then they, Over the they, top they lose the knives, and then the, the fight continues. Uh, mm. The end of that fight scene is actually pretty gruesome. Really? So if you guys want to see something really gruesome, uh, <laughs> just watch the end <laughs> Commando. of the Commando. Yeah, exactly. Commando. <laughs> I mean, it's 80 Schwarzenegger. Yeah, it's got to be gruesome. It's got to be. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So one thing I noticed about this with the John Wick one, it seemed as yeah. though it was it was like tighter and closer. Yeah. Right. Less less big movements, a little yeah. more controlled, maybe a little more realistic. Yeah. This one just feels like I mean they're just swashbuckling. Big open, right? yeah. giving you all the targets that hey, here's the stuff I don't want. Cut. I'm just going to extend everything out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horrible idea. Yeah. But yeah. I guess not a bad idea when your like flexor tens are made out of like adamantium yeah. in this world, right? Yeah, it probably still works then. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can just take the cut and keep going. Just, yeah, no big deal. <laughs> All right, so this next one is a nice scene that I got excited about in the movie. Theater. Yeah. So I, I'm interested to get your take on this one. Oh wow! Look at that exchange, that dexterity to flip the knife around your hand like that's pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, okay, how he pulled the knife. This is like. Yeah. This is one that I'm just. It's a fun knife fight, right? Yeah. So how he pulled the knife and he did a little thing, great for Hollywood. Obviously, in the real world, you never want to do that. You wouldn't want to do that. Because what if you dropped it? Yeah. What if you cut yourself? Yeah. Right? Like, Both of those are bad options. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was interesting. Came low and then high. Oh, another exchange. That was insane. That flip flipped exchange. around to catch yeah, it with yeah. the other hand. Yeah, yeah. Now, I yeah. should mention, both these guys are literally super soldiers. Okay. Right? So, like, I don't know. I, I guess if you, like, took human dexterity and upped it 50%. There you go. Maybe that exchange isn't as They could do things I can't right? do. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah right? right? Yeah, okay. But <laughs> that interesting catch here, going for uh, kind of an angle yeah. two off of that, catching it with the backside of the hand and stuff, that's probably not gonna be enough to stop that. Interesting. So are you saying that not enough for the for Captain America? Captain America, would yeah. be, it'd be chal challenging to stop that. Because of the way he's, are, he's coming in. Yeah, because his elbow's yeah. kind of up high and then he's catching it from the backside. Yeah, so yeah. this force here would be very challenging at that point to stop that. Yeah. But he probably does. Yeah, he totally yeah, rolled it over. Redirects yeah. <laughs> I think that's it for the knife. The knife in this is actually interesting. This is a really famous movie knife. So this is the Gerber Mark II. Okay. Um, and so the Gerber Mark II, they made it from like, 1966 to 2000, it was decommissioned for a while. They might still make it. I think yeah, it came I, back, mm. probably because of like probably, movies like this. Yeah. It was created by a retired army captain. I can't remember his name. Yep. Um, and the funny story is, the version in this is the toned down version. Really? So it has serrations on it. And uh, the reason is, is in uh, the 70s, the PX is like the on-base uh, stores, you know, where guys can go yep. like buy their stuff, right? Yep. They stopped carrying it. Because it was, you know, it's just a, it's just a long dagger bladed knife. It has kind of one purpose, right? Yeah. And literally, the reasoning was it was too brutal. It's a That's knife. like a direct really? quote. It's really? too brutal, right? Wow. It's a military base, military knife, too brutal. Wow. So uh, Al Mar was working with Gerber at the time in the '70s, and he redesi redesigned it with some serrations on it, and then they called it a survival knife. <laughs> really? Is that, and then put some serrations <laughs> and it was over. Fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was yeah. fine yeah. after that. It's uh -huh. fine. And the one that the Winter Soldier is using in this scene has the serrations. Really? So you know, yeah. it's the toned down version. Yeah. It actually is in the movie we're going to watch after this too, which is probably one of the most horrible fights ever, but has the best disarmament in any movie ever. Awesome. Which is super rad. So I mean, this is really close quarters and tight, and you know, oh, yeah. movie right? They're they're shooting sure. from a million different angles. But like, I mean, just how tight this is and the way that Captain America unarmed, right? Like, how yeah. do you think he's handling that? Like the barrage of it, right? Actually, he's doing fairly, fairly well as far as distancing. You'll see him do kind of what they call 
uh, Elastico kind of getting his body out of the way, kind of moving. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, he's, he's, but he's really kind of trying to, you know, any anytime a knife's coming at you, you don't want to stay in the front, what we call the inside, you want to get to the outside. Right. So he's kind of bringing, letting everything come towards him. Oh, uh, okay, so he's still staying squared up, which you don't want to do. You don't want right? to necessarily do. But yeah. he is definitely on the offensive, he right? Is, yeah. Treating the knife like seriously, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Interesting, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because when you watch it, it definitely feels, and you know, they got the sound effects for the hard hits and stuff. It definitely feels fantastical. Oh, yeah. Of course, because it's two super soldiers. But also, his defense feels like, I mean, it's like every it's, every stroke seems like it's going for a hit, and yep. every block seems like it's really doing something. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, anyways. Yeah. yeah. Now you've seen, uh, there's there's some Marvel movies. There's some Marvel, all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so like I said, so the so the, the Gerber Mark II has been in a ton of different movies. Yep. There's like a scene in the, it's one of the new Superman movies, where there's like a human, and he's like basically out of like all options, right? Mm. And all he has left is like his Gerber Mark II, and he's going up against like a Kryptonian, basically oh, wow. Superman. Yeah. He's not going to win. No. But like the scene's rad because it, there's like this like honor, right? And and I like you see this in a lot of these knife fight scenes, like the ones we've seen where it's like, I'm not going to use my gun or I'm going to throw my gun away. <laughs> there's something like it's more honorable to yeah. go hand to hand, right? It's yeah. more personal, right? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but that being said, I think the greatest movie that has used the Mark II is a movie called Under Siege. Oh, yes, I've, yes. Have you seen yes, this? Yes, I've, okay. I've seen the knife scene in that one. You've yes. seen the knife scene? Okay, yeah, perfect, yeah. all right. You have faith. I don't. Oh, oh that was so amazing. So he the gun out. Yeah. A big kitchen knife just randomly there on the floor. Yeah, I love Ooh, it. He's got his plate carrier on, so he's not that able to stab. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah. so let's say you had let's say you had a Mark II, right? Yeah. Long, long dagger blade, right? Yeah. Like, do you think it would it would go through that leather? Um, depending on the force, the angle, and what else he has on it, it right. would probably. It, I don't know if he had a plate carrier on. Did he hit a plate carrier? Or no, was it, no, no, no. It was just, it was a, just jacket, a leather jacket. Yeah, just okay. A leather jacket, yeah. So yeah, if that's it, the case, it should puncture through that. Yeah, yeah. It made a metal noise though. Yeah, that's why. That's why I <laughs> questioned it because I heard that right. sound. Yeah. And that's one thing I remember about this is they go, they go. It's like a sword fight. They yeah. go knife to knife a bunch in this one, really? which is really interesting because it seems like. Your target's not the knife. Yeah. Your target's the guy. Right. Right. So yeah. that's I don't know. Like I'll get you. Like, I want to hear what you have to say about this. This is great. Look at all the fancy movement. Yeah, look you at that. Like, look all that like all the all the knife noises like knife to knife, knife to knife. It reminds me of that video that came out. Oh, look at that awesome flex tendon there. He cut his wrist. Yeah, because Let's really, see. right in a in a knife fight, it's going to be those kind of forward appendages that yeah. are gonna, that are going to get hit, right? Primarily, yeah, hands and wrists and arms. Yeah, because those first two cuts, he's like inside of him, yeah. right? Like he's like, but then and then but then you kind of get that guard cut. Yep. Find it interesting though. There is forearm is cut, and he's still to use the hand, even with the flexor tendons potentially cut. Yeah. Like, he still he use is. that he's hand. Still, like, no, it's still flexing yeah. it, pushing out. But all these scenes, remember, remember that video that popped up a while ago with the guy in the gun store, and he popped out the knife and said, "Hey, let me flip it." Can I snap it? This is what this movie reminds me of. Is just that's a, that's a great video to bring up because yeah. in real life. Do what you want to do. There do you what go. makes you happy. Yeah, you know if it I mean? makes him happy, that's awesome. Take, dude, yeah. take that sucker around the block and yeah. just feel good about it, right? Yeah, like, you should. You should. <laughs> yeah, not making fun of the guy. No, just, no, yeah, yeah. No, but, just, it, but, but it's, is, it's, it's in life. This, this is, the, is yeah. the thing. This yeah. is the thing. And this is something that's really interesting to me is, is like you talk to people about like you know knives as defense or knives as offensive, yeah, and uh, or as an offense thing, and uh, and like a lot of people, I don't think that they realize like how serious it really is because yeah. we all watch movies like this growing up, yep, right, yeah, where it's like oh you get cut it's fine you just keep going like no yeah. big deal right. Yep. Um, I, what I think one of my favorite knife fighting quotes that I've ever heard is the loser of a knife fight dies at the fight, the winner of the knife fight dies in the hospital. Yeah, I've heard that. Yes, I've, I've, heard, I've heard that. I don't yeah. know how you feel about yeah, that. Like, is, yeah, you know I mean? kinda, <laughs> yeah. I, there's so many th factors in, in a situation using a knife for self-defense that you can't be like, yeah, I'm always going to be yeah. dead or, or yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, you're like, I'm always going to be on top or I'm not going to be, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You just don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, these guys know, though. They know. These they guys obviously know. Obviously yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go back to some knife fencing. All right, here we go. Wow, look at that, that overhand attack. What was he aiming for? Yeah, that was big. Awesome spin. Oh, there he goes. Reverse. Now you're in trouble. So yeah, the, re the reverse grip seems to be a common theme here too with, with movies. Maybe just because it looks more like assassin-ish. Yeah. Right? Like, I know as a kid, and I don't know if it's from watching movies like this or just in my head. Yeah. That felt more cool. Yeah. Like, you know, you hold, like you hold your knife up against your forearm. It's like, kind of hidden. Yeah, you feel cooler, right? Well, I like, think we kind of tend to know that, you know, this is a stronger motion than this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think the closeness for a video in particular, they want that 
real close in your uh, face. Yeah, yeah. Not necessarily always the best way to use a knife, right? But yeah. it does have its uses as well. So you could see that actually being a useful position in a like. Yeah, depending on which orientation the the blade is, huh, as far yeah. as is the, the blade out, is the edge out, is the blade in? Right. And, um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Check this out. So he's with his left hand, his live hand. Yeah. He's grabbing there just at that elbow. Oh yeah. And the arm's not extended, so he basically has no structure on that. So I want to yeah. see where this plays. Okay. All right, going. here we go. I'll, I'll, we can go slow too. Oh, so, so it was just, like elbow to, to wrist. Yeah, just kind of drop. Didn't slide yeah. through. Yeah. Hey, oh, look at that. Okay, here it there comes. There you go. So he's extending. Here it comes. He's Oh, got cut. Wait. Yep. Oh! <laughs> With his teeth? What do you think about that? How do I not remember that? Wow. Dude, yeah. Literally the best, and it's got to be the best knife disarmament in movie history. Yeah, they should not make knife movies anymore. That should be the knife movie that they end all knife movies with. How is that even? <laughs> so scale of 1 to 10, I mean, how... Uh... How practical do you think that is? <laughs> I wouldn't even want to try that with a training knife. Like, yeah, I would say that is like a, uh, I can't say zero because it could happen. Right. But I would say a one out of a hundred. Do you think maybe now we know how Joker got his scars? That's exactly how <laughs> <I guess. laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow. Anyways, that's actually like the big reason I included this because I really just wanted to see what you felt about that. That is, that is insane. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then... Um, that ends pretty brutally, so uh, you two probably won't like that. Probably not. We, so we're yeah. just gonna <laughs> we're gonna leave it at the beautiful disarmament. Yeah. And we'll just say that at that point they made a peace accord and they became friends. <laughs> They're friends after They're that. They're friends yeah. after yeah. that. <laughs> oh, nice headbutt. So this next one is it's a Punisher TV show. I think they're using Buck 119. You got to keep it quiet, huh? So they're gonna. No shots. At least they made a good reason to yeah. not use firearms. Yeah, right? but it wasn't just an honor thing. Yeah, I think there. this is the best one we've seen. Yeah, right? that yeah. wasn't. They didn't like kick the gun out of their hand, <laughs> or they weren't just like, no, for honor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no shots. Scout carry. Yeah. Uh, it looked like he was a hip carry. Oh yeah. Oh, he's got his belt out, huh? What do you think about this? So what's he doing? Wrapping it up as like a a guard kind of. Yeah. To protect his flexor so tendons right? and. Yeah, I don't necessarily know that you'd have the time to set that up, but um, anything that could potentially protect your arm from not functioning anymore by being cut is awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, obviously, it was very kind of them to wait. Yeah. For him <laughs> Just to do hold, that. hold on a second. Let me <laughs> let me put this on my arm. Yeah. However, right? I yeah. mean, he's kind of creating a shield. Absolutely. Which that seems that seems pretty smart to be able to take some strikes and you know yeah. a leather belt. Like it's got some good. It will take a, it, right? a couple of cuts for sure. Yeah. 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 Point. Oh, locking the door. We're getting serious there. Okay, so that's an interesting grip he had on that. When he had, he's kind of going for a figure four almost, it looked like, but he, yeah, kind of weird. So no real grab there. Oh, there he's on the forearm. Both kind of pressuring into it. Kind of weird. So you said figure four. So is that, so is trying, that actually... trying to do like a, yeah, like a figure four lock to kind of lock it up. That, that was one of the ways that we used to teach a lot in defensive tactics of blocking like a knife attack as you do yeah. like a figure four. What we found with it is a lot is the body pressure would come over and it's really hard to actually make it work in real life. Make it last. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Now in this case, I mean, obviously she's, she's obviously she's, like a trained strong person, yeah. right? But he's obviously much bigger than Size her. Size disparity. Well. Yeah. Right, right. So in this, in this situation, do you think that a figure four would work where there's, there's would probably be, a strength difference between it, the two. It would be challenging where yeah. he's taller than her. I mean, I mean for leverage. her, he would probably be able to, yeah, push her back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it's weird that he does that and then kind of extends it out where there's still a knife in play, just push you back and not maintain control of it. Right, right. Wow. That was like a wrestling. <laughs> yeah. It's like the rock almost. Oh, that was interesting. Here, pretty okay. pretty hard to challenge to stop that. You'll see he's got his one forearm here, and then the other one grabbing like the thumb. Yeah, that's really not going to stop somebody with a lot of intent on that. Right, because that's that's one thing that obviously in a in a in a movie fight scene. Yeah, is physics don't play the full role. That right? seems the case. Yes. Yeah, 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 because because obviously first off intent, like you were saying, somebody yeah. who's intent on doing something, and then second off you just have the reality of moving parts, right? Yeah. Like yep. like an object in motion tends to stay in motion. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't stop. Yeah, yeah so, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's able to stop that with that, but interesting shield there with his forearm, but really the arm wasn't extended down. You would think too, if he had her in that position, he would have disarmed her. Yeah, right. Like he had, or, he had control of that of the lead hand, right? So the 
or the uh, what would you call that hand with the knife in it? Uh, yeah, just your strong hand yeah, or strong your knife hand. hand yeah, or, yeah, he had, yeah, yeah, he had control of that. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, <laughs> knife disarms are fairly challenging. Oh, are they? They're okay, really yeah. hard. Yeah. You know, a lot of times you'll train with a big blade, and it's easy to disarm it. But once you get something smaller, this one would be right easier. Well, buck one nineteen, you got a bit of yeah, yeah, yeah surface to it. But like a box cutter or something small, like you try and do that, you're going to be cutting your hand up. So oh, I actually sense. don't encourage disarms a lot. It's more like, how do I control the whole limb? How do I limit their mobility to one joint? Interesting. Kind okay. Of, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that big over the head attack. So she's just laying there waiting for him to get done with this guy. Yeah. And then well, and the other one's still like just laying on the toilet. It's no big deal, right? <laughs> yeah. like, nobody's unconscious yet. <laughs> Oh wow, look how much freedom he has oh, there. Just... That guy might be unconscious now. Yeah, I think he's done. <laughs> Save the day, it looks like. I like that. That's yeah, a cool scene. That is cool. <laughs> that's a cool is, scene. <laughs> for a movie, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, another one. Yeah, because we still got those two players. <laughs> Interesting approach to punch in the face when a knife's coming towards you. Yeah. They do seem to keep There's them good, both. Good, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that looks almost like the John Wick thing we just watched. But he but missed the forearm that yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> he missed the forearm. It's because he had the leather wrap, I think. <laughs> true, true. Yeah. So funny story. I did a. I recently did a video on Bowie knives. Yeah. Um, and we're actually there's a Bowie knife clip in here that I want to look at. Awesome. I might, it might be the next one. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Um, anyways, uh, one thing that's crazy about Bowie knives is when you read these accounts from like the old west. Yeah. Right. So like you know. 1840s to 1890s ish, you know, in that range. Um, whenever you read an account of somebody in a Bowie knife attack, yeah, the way they write it is, and they stab them all the way through. Oh yeah, right. Because those Bowie through. knives were huge, and yeah. especially like the Arkansas toothpick, yeah. and, right? Like, and you like, so you're like, that's so brutal. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's such a brutal like reality. Of, oh like, wow. Oh my gosh. So I mean, I guess he's just using Bowie knife techniques. Boot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh. There you go. Well, yeah. that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> How to win a knife fight? Have a buddy behind with a big with a big uh, piece of board. Scene. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> piece of scene. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So our next clip is from Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Well, that's because everything's different now. Guns or knives, it's Butch. It's harder now. So you can see Butch Cassidy, he's a talker. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's, yeah. he's trying to talk his way out, right? He's, yep. he's a bit of a con man, right? He's a good leader, but he's a bit of a con man. And that's right? the best use of self-defense ever. Like, yep. if you can talk your way out of even better than using a knife or a gun. Yep. Yep. Every, every, like, any bit of training that I've ever done and any real life experience that I've had in these situations, the best tool you have, the best weapon you have is your brain. Yeah. Right? Every yep. time. Like, uh, I was kind of telling you some stories when I was a kid, from yeah. when I was a kid. I grew up in a really rough neighborhood, uh, ended up on the wrong end of some things. Uh, not me, just people being the wrong end of a thing. <laughs> and uh, handled it, but it was funny because it was over a bicycle. Yeah. Right? And now as an adult, if somebody came up to me and it was my motorcycle even, yeah. right? And they've got a knife or a gun, I'd be like, here you go. Have it. Not worth it. Yeah. It's just not worth it, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, so, so he's a talker, right? Which is going to play in later. I don't know if you remember this scene. I don't remember, it's, yeah. It's going to play in later. Plan more, you got to prepare more. Guns or knives. Guns or knives, he asked him, huh? Neither. Pick. Neither. I don't want to shoot with you, Harvey. Anything you say, Butch. The thing that was really interesting about that for me, did you see where he pulled it from? It's kind of That was like, like a, a Bowie knife, yeah. like regular carry, but just behind him? Yeah. That would suck. <laughs> I wonder how he sits on the horse, you know? Exactly. It's probably poking into the saddle. But... Maybe it has a really long dangler. Yeah, <laughs> And it just like yeah. goes to the side. Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When it's done, if I'm dead, kill him. Love to. <laughs> Making a plan what's going to happen if he loses. <laughs> I love this just one. Just wait. <laughs> okay. This is one of the reasons I picked the clip. It's kind of hard to see because it's just barely out of frame, but do you yeah. see the direction he's holding the bowie oh, knife? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Right? The knife yeah. that cuts both ways. Yeah. That's the only time in a movie I've ever seen the bowie knife held yep. for, with that. It's not a false edge, but it's that, it's the false, yeah, the sharpened yeah. false edge, right? Yeah. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. Like somebody who actually knew about bowie knives set this scene up. That's awesome. Right? Which I thought was pretty rad. He doesn't even have a knife. He's just gonna no, stay no, there and wait yet. for him, huh? Not oh, he doesn't need that knife, he says, huh? Rules in a knife fight? No rules. <laughs> no <laughs> rules in a knife fight. <laughs> 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 Someone count one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> <laughs> the Captain Kirk That's double awesome. fist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Great Brought way to break the... all your fingers. <laughs> yeah, and tie them up at the same time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> No. So this was the reason I picked this. Is one, I thought that it was cool that he actually held the boot yeah. properly. It's the only place I've ever seen it. But secondly, right, uh, we were kind of talking about before, but like 
wits, yes. right? using yeah. your brain, right? Yeah. I mean, the best case in this scenario is just leave, yeah. right? Like, I mean, he has a gang to control and there's a leadership thing going on here, but, you know, just walk away from the, the right. thing, right? But, I mean, he really, you know, he outsmarted him, He right? did, yeah. There's no rules. Yeah, <laughs> no rules awesome. in a knife fight. Yeah. Okay, no rules. <laughs> Count one, two, three, go. <laughs> okay, so this next movie... It seems like you already recognize. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah, hunted. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you've seen this one. Yeah, right? the knife scene at least. Yes. That Tom Brown tracker knife from Tops. Yeah. Dude, that knife was that was a Grail knife for years. I didn't even get it until like three years ago. And that's kind of cool because Tommy Lee Jones in this, he's playing essentially Tom Brown. Mm. He's like, if you remember, like he was the one training, yeah, he trained tracking all, yep, and yep. how to use the knife, how to make the knife. Um, so it's kind of cool that like Tom Brown got like immortalized in this yeah. way. I don't even remember what this character's name is in the movie, but. He's, he's basically Tom Brown, yeah. which is kind of cool. And this is kind of, they had separated, right? And they, but they're hunting each other because mm-hmm. it's the hunted. And so he had made one out of stone, which- Okay, that's a stone knife. Y- yeah, you then. can see there. Yeah. And then uh, the, kid, the kid that he's hunting- Oh, there he is, yeah. He had found like some metal and he went full Rambo. Oh, and he, well. like, had, like, he like made a whole knife out of metal and everything. I'm really interested to see what your thought is on this, this particular scene. So you just cut the extensor side. So with a cut like that, you'd still be able to grip onto the knife. Okay. But as far as like having like a really good grip and controlling it, his dexterity is going to be a little bit limited For if sure. it did cut the extensor tendon. Yeah, yeah. And it looked like that was almost almost like a, like a, a backside, backside like buoy knife yeah. cut almost, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, which I, was really interesting. So it looks like he is using the hand that, oh, nope, it is the one that's cut. So he's still holding that. Interesting, there you go, the figure four again we've seen. So that full extension there, he just cut the tricep, which would limit the ability to extend the arm. Here the face, not a good place to get cut, but it's not really gonna limit his ability to move his arm or anything like that. This arm now, probably is gonna not function as well. There he uses his blood to throw him in this, make him so he can't see anything, huh? So what about this, uh, this like blind, I mean that just feels like a natural response think- of like, like yeah. almost like an injured just animal. Just like stay back. Yeah, from, like yeah. an injured animal, like just yeah. like clawing, like yeah. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. That's something that I remember when I was like looking at these clips. I had forgotten about that, and I was yeah. like, oh, that's kind of like, I guess it could be effective. Keep you back, yeah, because yeah, you're just yeah. being wild at that point. And like, how do you make an a, an offensive mood to that? Right? Yeah, because like, you don't know where it's coming. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now he's gone. That would be like the worst feeling in the world. You know he's there somewhere with a knife. You don't know where he's at. For reals. Well, and in this movie... I guess there's some blood. Yeah, you get your blood trail. In this movie, too, I don't know if you remember, like, I'll never forget. So he takes out those two, like, hunters, which ended up being, like, spooks or whatever Mm -hmm. at the very beginning. And he throws that Tom Brown tracker, and it goes, like, like through, like, that... uh, It was an aspen or whatever. It was, like, that thick. That thick, yeah. Yeah, and, like, Tommy Lee Jones tracking, and he sees the hole, and he knows what (laughs) made it. I will never forget. I was like, oh, my gosh, I want that knife so (laughs) bad. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> when I bought mine, that was the first thing I did with it. You threw I it threw it in a tree. Really? I threw it in a tree. Yeah, it didn't do it that. It didn't obviously. go that far. No, no. Yeah. But it stuck. Did first it? try. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. You have to. You yeah, know? Like, it's just like you have to. <laughs> so he still has his knife. Well, yep, there he is. Oh, yeah. So he's, he's in... trying to stop the bleeding. So that was that was a, a real serious. They're making it very making serious. It, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Because yep. he's like, you know, the best, the best trained elite operative. Oh. oh, it's like a punchy stick. Ooh, yeah, that wouldn't have probably done very much. That was just a sharpened stick, right? Sharpened stick. Yeah, there's no, that, weight, there's to no it, right? weight to it, so it would have been... What do you think yeah. about him blocking a, a projectile with his knife? Interesting. I don't know that I would do that. I don't think I yeah, I think I'd just... <laughs> Dodge, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Overhand, ooh, quad cut. That would that be like another figure four? Yeah, so they're set up in that again. And again, yeah. the way that his hands are set up, like he doesn't really have control of that wrist. This arm's kind of there. If he extends Tommy Lee Jones, if he extends his arm up there, he could potentially set him off balance and have access to basically anything he wants. Right, overcome the guard. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Oh, interesting. So Another instead of coming up and over, he used extra force, right? Yeah. yeah. Which, if I if I saw that correctly, he kind of had some resistance on that. So by him trying to do that, might have not gone as deep as they're portraying here, but right. again, it's a movie. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, Tommy Lee Jones' knife is really short. Yeah. It's a really short, short like stone flint. I don't know what he made it out of, but yeah. yeah. Interesting, is he able to keep pushing pressure and drive it deeper off of that? Okay, so, that's, so this is another question for you, right? Yeah. So he so comes over, right? 
strikes the rock. Yep. Feels like a wasted strike when you've got him completely exposed and you oh, yeah. control both of his hands to break his knife. Yeah, his head is right there. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that seems to be a tendency a lot with movies is they focus more on the weapon than versus how do I stop this person? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and especially this, this movie's about the knife, yeah. right? Well, I mean, yeah. it's about a lot of things, but the knife is one of the heroes of yeah. the movie, right? Yep. So that, again, he's trying to block that with the way he's pushing. He's just using the deltoids to kind of push that. Not a lot of stopping power with that to stop his arm. There it is. There. Another drop. What did you think about it? Now, I, these aren't I, superhumans. No, no, no. They're not superhumans. <laughs> I, like, I, I'm all about the, the exchange of knife, but to drop yeah. it when somebody else is trying to murder you, I, right. I don't know that that is the best. Especially when his hand's already up here anyway. He just grabs it here and he could come across. Right. I, I, I wouldn't take that so risk. So you, you would have you went just a, a pass well, as opposed well, to he, a... he has this hand here and he's blocking yeah. the other one. All he takes it from this hand and now he has access to it. Instead of dropping and trying to catch it right. and get right. a good grip and do what he needs to. Yeah. And then the cut to the abdomen. Again, that's not going to necessarily stop somebody. Right. Yeah, the things that occur from there are not pleasant for the individual. Of course, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. not the best targeting is what I'm getting at. <laughs> What about that guard? The blade side is on the side of his wrist. Right. And there's not really, if I see here, he's controlling the other arm. Yeah. I think so. There's nothing preventing him from just doing a draw cut. Right. Or a pressure cut off of that and Removing, being able to. Just getting the hand out just, of the way, basically. Yeah, just right? cut the hand out of the yeah. way. And, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I, I remember watching that though as a kid and I was like, oh, that's so smart. Yeah, you know what <laughs> yeah I mean? just block with that. But I mean, like, yeah. if, that's all, if that's your Hail Mary, if right? That's all you got. If that's yeah. the last thing you've got to protect yourself, yeah. right? I get it. Right? Yeah. The, yeah. I'd rather, have a, I'd rather not have a hand than. Absolutely. Not be around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, so he's he's blocking it, but it's the the offensive move there is not gonna be stopped by just putting your hand up by your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh. Yeah. So that target there under the armpit, that is a horrible place to be stabbed. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, and he pulls it out. <laughs> Yeah. That was my Rambo. That was it. Right? I don't yeah. know about you, but yeah. that was my Rambo. Yeah. Where I was like, okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that knife, that, that Tom Brown tracker is so much cooler than a Rambo knife <laughs> yeah. to me. Way like, cooler. By every measure, yeah. right? Like, yeah. <laughs> I never had a Tom tracker when I was young, but I did have a Rambo. Yep. And I was Same. thoroughly disappointed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it was a yeah. cheap gas station. Yeah, the version. handle always broke. Yeah. It never held anything you actually wanted it to Compass hold. Compass fell out. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I am having a real good time. There he goes, that big arms extended. There we go, knife to knife. Okay, so this is similar to Under Siege, where it's like a sword fight with knives. So look at grips again. You got one with the blade out, one with blade. Oh, is one of them holding yeah. it proper? This guy's not, look like the other guy was. Oh, he yeah. is! <laughs> <laughs> Hard to see, it's just that one click. Awesome, yeah. dude, you totally caught it. Well, there you go. There so, you go. Uh, not just Butch Cassidy and Sundance. <laughs> there <game>. it is. <laughs> Maybe it was the same fight choreography. It probably was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like just big swings, yeah. right? Like, no real, like, I mean, both their arms are just out there to just yeah. take a hit, right? Which a lot of nice systems, that's where you aim for first, is your extent, whatever's extended. Right. Well, because you, you don't want to be able to get a control of you with that. Right? Yep. Right. yep. Plus, just causing, you know, causing damage. Yep. Right. Yeah, that would be very hard to control that. Interesting. I thought he was going to hit him with the butt of his knife <laughs> instead of like trying to knife him. And yeah. I was like, wait, isn't this a knife? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there we go. There's our, you got to have a struggle. Yeah, Every knife fight, yep. you got to have a struggle. Get that suspense going, huh? <laughs> oh, there's a clear open shots there. Like, they're... Fully extended, like you say, in there. Oh, he's just oh, hand switching. Oh, oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> now you're in trouble. Got that karate kick or yeah. kung fu kung kick. Kung fu kick. <laughs> oh, there it is again. I think full extension arm block, and then I hope he didn't do it all the way through his leg. leg. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I don't think, I don't think he gets him. Gets him. I think he. Well, I find that interesting. Like there are some. Major targets down the leg. You have the 
femoral artery and some nerves and stuff that run down there, but it's not necessarily bursting the flames fights over when you get stabbed in the leg like you right. just did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fairly fascinating. Yeah, yeah. I mean, however, a big Bowie knife like that. Yeah. Uh, that, I mean, it I would might, hurt. I might lose my fight. <laughs> yeah, like I'm not. Yeah. I'd be like, you know what? She's well, probably not worth it. Probably not. <laughs> well, there's different ways to stop people, and one of them is psychological. So maybe that's what happened here. Yeah. Is he yeah, just yeah. got stabbed and was like, okay, I'm finished. He's like, that's it, I'm done. I'm yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Similar to Butch Cassidy, just different tactic. Yes. So out of all of them, I guess there's two questions. Which one do you think is the realist and which one was your favorite? Because that might be different. Right? Ooh, I would say I'd probably go between the John Wick and the Hunted were the two. I'm having a okay. hard battle there because there were parts of both of those that I, I really, really liked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, pick between the two, I probably would even actually say John Wick, surprisingly enough, just yeah. because it is kind of a little over the top and fun and modern the angles of it were really fun to watch cool yeah yeah, yeah. i like yeah. it i think because i like the series so much yeah that's the punisher one for me oh that yeah it's a good that was good, good. that was good, good. you're right like, yeah that was good and the fight choreography in that whole like series is just really good too, yeah for me like as yep. somebody who's not like a pro right like oh. somebody who's you know like has done some stuff but yeah. yeah yeah so i like that one a lot that was a blast that was fun <laughs> that was fun let us know what your favorite scene was it doesn't even have to be one that we showed in this video just let us know down below what your favorite scene was and why and uh yeah yeah thanks, I need, thanks I, for being on man i need to watch more shows so i'd appreciate it if they tell me which ones i need to see <laughs> yeah. yeah no let them know what movies to watch too <laughs> while you're at it why not they didn't have to have knives in them just cool movies <laughs> yeah. he's gotta get caught up here um where, where can the good people find you uh so probably the best way is on social media spartan.mode yep. on instagram Great. Um, Facebook, just Spartan Mode. Great. Um, yeah. yeah, and you teach yeah. classes and all sorts of stuff, right? I do, yeah, yeah, yeah all yeah. across the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. I'll have links down in the description, guys. You can check out all of Adam's awesome stuff. And uh, if he yeah, teaches classes, I've been to at least one, yeah. I think one or two. Yeah. I've, been to, I've been to some of his courses, and they're really awesome. So highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, links down in the description, check it out. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks guys. We'll see you.